some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video, I've got a double header for you. In the first video, we will uh, head to Las Vegas, Nevada, where uh, Chile de Castro uh, has been moved from a mi minimum security facility to a medium security facility. And uh, he also discusses the issue of uh, passing notes to the guards. Oh, me, oh, my, uh, Chile. Didn't any uh, convicts, any real convicts, tell you that that is not exactly a wise thing to do? And then we will move on to the uh, most recent arrest of a, the fraudster known as Four Corners Fist in the Air, as he is doing some cop watching, but he forgets to uh, look up if he had a warrant out for his arrest or not, and uh, Will finds out the hard way. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax. And enjoy the show. Hello, world. My name is Julie De Castro. Today is May 26th, 2024. I'm calling you from the Clark County Detention Center Dungeon in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been wrongfully incarcerated by Judge Ann Zimmerman, who has not sentenced anybody to jail in five years for obstruction. And in the past four cases that went to trial, each one of those people got anger management or impulse training management, and then the misdemeanor fell off their record. Well, gee, Chili, you think saying this over and over again means that it's uh, true? Uh, no, it's not. But I will tell you this, maybe the reason why you were treated so differently from those other people may have something to do with your conduct. It may be that you got such a super... Uh, a special uh, treat uh, given to you because of your conduct. Yeah, maybe the other uh, people didn't act like this. Maybe you decided that you were something special, and maybe you decided to uh, act like it. And, uh, well, the judge uh, made sure that you're nothing special. Which brings me to another point. I mean, uh, at one point, you actually did admit that it was your own conduct uh, in court that led up to this. So why aren't you going with that? Uh, why are you back to this bullshit about blaming the judge instead of yourself? I have to say these things because I've just been moved from a minimum security block to a medium security block. In the previous block, it was full of people who were homeless and people who were um, uh, bums. And, and this block is not that. It's full of people who are gangbangers, who have tattoos on their faces. And this room is aggregated by race. And so it's definitely a, a big switch. You know, Tilly, in the convict world uh, with the real prisoners, uh, that would be considered a promotion. I mean, you've just been moved from where the homeless are at to the gangbangers. I wonder what you did to earn that uh, little reward right there. I mean, there are a lot of uh, other videos uh, that from other prison channels, such as After Prison Show, Lockdown 23 and 1, uh, JD Delay, uh, and others that will tell you that you've got to do something very wrong to get that kind of promotion. And, uh, well, it's not exactly always pleasant. In fact, many of those same uh, prison channels will tell you that many of the hardcore criminals will uh, put in extra work to make sure that they end up getting into these higher security areas because, well, it's a badge of honor for them. And I just have to remind you that if I have to, if I'm assaulted in here, or if anything bad happens to me in here, the responsibility falls squarely on the trial judge who put a man in jail who has no criminal record and has no history of violence. I have no legitimate criminal record at all whatsoever, and I should not have been put in jail. This is a... Uh, no, Chile. Uh, in the convict code, the sole responsibility uh, for anything happening to you would be upon your shoulders because you probably uh, disrespected some of the more, uh, well, unseemly uh, convicts in there. Because if you don't respect the other convicts in there, uh, they will make sure that you do next time. And it may be as simple as uh, just saying excuse me when you... Uh, have to walk by somebody, or uh, if you have to fart, 
excuse yourself and uh well take care of business elsewhere away from everybody else because that's a sign of disrespect too definitely a different kind of room that i'm in right now this is definitely different and uh, needless to say i'm i'm aware consciously aware of my surroundings at all times even as i leave this message here for you I look to my left, I look to my right, and make sure that, that my, my back is safe. It's, it's just a place where if you're not a criminal, you just don't belong in a room like this. There are people in here who have felonious assault and worse on their, on their paperwork here, and there are people here who are, this is all three levels of people in here, people who have misdemeanors, people who have gross misdemeanors, and people who have aggravated felonies on the record are in this room. And so it's it's a it's not it's it's not a joke. It's not fun. It's not. It's a, it's a, oh wow, misdemeanors and everything like that. Uh, well, dude, uh, you're certainly not in the big time either. You had me worried there for a moment that uh that you were in a supermax like San Quentin, where the real hardcore criminals go. I mean, but actually, you're just in a medium security jail where uh well. People are waiting trial and everything like that. I mean, you're, you'll, you'll be fine. But you still got to mind the convict code. Otherwise, uh, you'll really offend the ones that are actually hardcore criminals. Best advice that I've ever seen for surviving in a jail like that. Just mind your own damn business and move about your day. And most likely, you'll be fine. Just just ignore everybody, what everybody else is doing. I guess you could say shit just got real. And that's the room that I'm in. I'm gonna write a letter in to the the guards and 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 let them know that I, I think I've been classified in the wrong room. But I don't know. There's not much I can do because they um, they shut down the minimum minimum dorm and they moved the, a, a large group of people to different dorms. Yeah, yeah, Chili. Uh, you might want to be advised against passing notes to the guards unless it's an actual uh, prison related form that you can fill out I mean other than that the the uh, other prisoners might see that as you being a snitch and well you know what they say about snitches in prison hey, who's your friend what's his name oh, oh now oh, you're a snitch, snitch. Oh. Now, you snitch the most. now you're a snitch hey what do we do with snitches in this bitch there was about 40 of us left in that room and then they started to break us up into groups of 10 and to bring us to other dorms when I got brought down here. The whole scenery has changed now and it's definitely a difficult, more rough terrain. So, you know, if anything happens to me, this definitely falls back to the biased and unprincipled judge who put me in this dungeon. She should not have put me in this dungeon. I don't belong in jail. I'm not a criminal by any means. So I just have to make it through the next six weeks or approximately 45, 46 days away from the July 10th appeal. A bill has to be put through the legislature that has to do with principles in sentencing. Judges should have to be principled in sentencing. In other words, the only way you can schedule someone to go to jail, especially without a jury, is based on the last 10 holdings in that particular courtroom. And by the way, this was a Seventh Amendment violation. If there is a controversy for more than $20, then you have a right to have a jury trial. Or putting me in jail for more than even a day is more than $20 of a controversy. I should have received a jury trial. Chili, uh, you were given the option for a bench trial or a jury trial. Your Seventh Amendment was not violated because, well, you chose the bench trial. I mean... You're you're looking back on it now and crying about it, about uh, getting uh, your ass handed to you in court, mostly because of the fact that uh, it was your own conduct that uh, got you in trouble. Chili, uh, you have you you should be the last person to ever uh, try to reform the justice system, because if you had it your way. Judges would no longer exist. Cops would no longer exist. Lawyers would no longer exist. It would be total anarchy. It would be to the point where anybody could get away with anything because of some uh, archaic form of uh, localized self-control doctrine that you happen to look 
up one day that didn't even work back then, and they had to reform it uh, into a different uh, method of a uh, justice system. Dude, if that style of justice system didn't work back then, then what the hell makes you think it'll work now? And besides, the... Uh, United States justice system is pretty much laid out within the uh, seven articles of the Constitution anyway. If you want it to change, well, you're going to have to quite literally amend the Constitution to make sure that it gets done. And uh, good luck getting that done. The Seventh Amendment of the Constitution, look it up, it says that when there's a controversy that's more than $20, and an American is entitled to a jury trial, I did not get a jury trial. I got one biased, unprincipled judge who was married to a cop who sentenced me to a dungeon. It's completely and utterly wrong. A bill has to be put through the legislature that says that there has to be principles in sentencing. And if there's going to be a judge who's going to be the judge, jury, and executioner, and there has to be jury jail panels to determine if people should go to jail when there's only a judge determining their cases. And she's not even a judge. She's a magistrate. She's an elected magistrate. Oh, really, Chili? Uh... Yeah, and you call yourself a 20-year constitutional law scholar when you can't even define magistrate properly? I mean, good freaking grief, dude. Uh, where did you go to school at? Oh, wait, you didn't go to school. You got your degree at YouTube University. So, it, once again, look at what's happened. Look at what's going on right now. I'm in this horrifically horrible, dangerous cell now. And the reason why I'm here is because you could have an unprincipled and biased judge put me in this jail. It's completely and utterly wrong. And she deserves every single petition, every single letter she sent, telling her and redress her and tell her that this is wrong. She's an elected official of government. You have every right to petition her and don't let anybody tell you different. And then the next case coming up on July 10th, the appeal process for July 10th. Listen, the, the thing is about government is that we only have a few really inalienable rights that were given to us in 1791, December 15th, with the ratification of the Bill of Rights. All you have are your rights, and that's it. The only illusion of freedom that we are given is the illusion that we are allowed to have the right to redress government through assembly, through petition, through press, and through speech. Those are the rights that we have. Now, if they're real, then they're not an illusion you can use them. And if they're fake, then I'm willing to take the consequences of them being fake. But you have every right to petition the government, and you should. Now, Lombardo, the, the current governor of Nevada, an ex-cop, you could petition him all you want, but he's not going to let me go. And even if he did file to have me pardoned for a misdemeanor crime, it would take months and months for that pardon to go through. So that's, that's just the legalities of what I'm looking at right here. Yeah, yeah, Chili, we all know you hate cops. We all know that you believe that all cops are evil criminal scumbags. I mean, uh, you don't have to continue to say that. I mean, I don't think the governor will pardon you anyway, and it's not because of him being a uh, retired police officer. I think it's just that, uh, well, uh, you're uh, not exactly worthy of a pardon at this point. I mean, all one has to do is look at your YouTube channel and see how much you harass people and how many uh, people's lives you have ruined over the years. I mean, there's uh, all sorts of grievances out there uh, against you and uh, warrants out for your arrests in other states. Uh, you're a habitual offender, so yeah, you're not going to get pardoned, dude. You're, it's not going to happen anyway. That's just a pipe dream on your part. Um, you know, it's, it's just a little taxing, it's a little trying when when I've been in here for months and months now. It's completely wrong. It's just wrong. There's just no other way to see it. And it should make you downright mad. Because, listen, if it can happen to me, it can happen to you. Anyway, listen, um, I left you guys my address, my new address. You have my new address now. And it's P.O. Box 43059, Clark County Detention Center, South Tower, Room 2K. Jose De Castro, inmate number one six six nine five six one, which is another thing that I just have such a, a hard time swallowing. I, in my lifetime, I've never deserved or wanted to have an inmate number. I'm not a criminal. I don't break the law. I don't do anything wrong. I have every right to stress test our rights, and this 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 unprincipled and biased judge, she has 
set the moniker that we must change the way that judges are allowed to just throw you in jail. The only reason someone should be in jail is because they are violent. The only reason someone should go to jail is if they've created a victim. That's the only reason someone should be put in a dungeon. And that's only if they are repeatedly violent and repeatedly creating victims. But the idea that they can just throw me in jail for pointing a camera at a cop is absolutely ludicrous. Chile, our justice system may not be perfect, but what you have been proposing over the years is far, far worse than what we would have. I mean, criminals would not be punished at all. Uh, we would uh, abandon uh, our... Uh, laws altogether. Thankfully, we've got the majority of people who are in office who uh, know this and uh, are not going to impose that kind of justice system on everybody in this country. We all know you want total anarchy. You want no laws, pretty much. You want, uh, uh, well, no police, no lawyers, no judges, none of that. I mean, you've admitted it on numerous videos. Don't deny it. Okay, the next video comes to us from Four Corners, fist in the air, as he's doing a cop watch, only to find out that, well, he's got a warrant out for his arrest. I mean, what kind of moron are you when you're a cop watcher and you have a warrant out for your arrest and you still push the boundaries and go do cop watching? Uh, not a very smart person. Nope, nope, not at all. So let's go ahead and enjoy the show, shall we? Oh, these frauditor uh, videos can be so dang boring. Let's just go ahead and pass the time with uh, some soundtrack at least. goodness look at the tyrannical officer actually helping out a person that uh, probably was suffering from heat stroke out here i mean i wouldn't doubt it i mean given the temperatures uh out there right now but you know this goes against chili's narrative uh that all police officers are uh evil tyrants that uh want nothing better to do than toss you in a dungeon i mean look at this female officer actually helping somebody out i mean this this is well, I don't know what to think. I'm sure Chili must think, uh, well, I don't know what Chili would do in this particular scenario. I mean, this would be a foreign concept to him. Let's have a good new man some assistance here. When does the tyranny stop? I mean, look at this tyrant paramedic coming in to uh, aid the officer in this situation of uh, this man's possible uh, medical emergency. I mean, when will it end, people? These tyrants have to be stopped. <laughs>
officer that arrested me and charged me with criminal trespass over at Brookside Park. Ah, yes, criminal trespassing. Uh, and I'm sure you don't believe in trespassing, right? I mean, uh, the majority of you frauders seem to think that you've got to commit a crime to be trespassed. But, yeah, I've looked into so many of these trespassing laws across the country, and so far, not a one says that you have to commit a crime before you get trespassed. All anybody has to do is ask you to leave, and if you don't, you're trespassing. It's as simple as that, but unfortunately, you frauditors are too thick-headed to realize that. But you know what? That's all right. Considering that, I'm sure if YouTube wasn't around, uh, I'm sure you could find a job somewhere as a ditch digger and uh, be gainfully employed because the world needs ditch diggers too. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, I just Try to you. No. Oh no, what happened here? Uh, uh, Chili, uh, what's going on? I thought you said that all cops were itching to uh, take you to the dungeon. That if you didn't uh, obey every command that uh, or uh, something like that, that they would take you to the deep, dark, dank dungeon and uh, make sure that you never saw the light of day again. Chili, what's going on here? Uh, I, uh, that guy is walking away. Why is that cop letting that man walk away? Chili, come on now. Uh, you're supposed to be our uh, protector. This is not the way it's supposed to go. This cop was not supposed to let this man go. Tell us, tell us, Chili, what's going on here? Oh, wait, Chili, could it be that you're a freaking trickster, hoaxer, and all that other stuff that you've been lying all these years about how cops really are? Nah, that couldn't be it. Chili would never lie to us. <laughs> How you doing? Good, how about yourself? Doing good, doing good. Name of badge number? It's uh, Officer Jones, badge number 926. Thank you, Officer Jones. Mr. Chief, what's your date of birth again? Four. Four? Okay, never mind. What did I do wrong? Well, dude, to be perfectly honest, I would have to say nothing at this point. Well, at least not nothing at this uh, particular uh, cop watch. But uh, this, what's about to happen is related to other issues that uh, have popped up. I mean, uh, it's not just the here and now, it's the past. And uh, your past will come up to get you at some point. And now is the time for you. Good. Good. So, I, I saw one of your last videos, you, you had my name as Jordan Jones. My name's actually Adam, Adam? Jones. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry about that, you know. Uh, I guess I heard you wrong. Yep. Yeah. What you, what you up to today? Well, just another day, you know. Another day? Yeah. Did you but, hear that? Uh, what's going on with you? What's going on with your life, sir? Nothing. Just uh, living my life as usual. Okay. Yeah. Is there any way that I can assist you today? Uh, you know the five freedoms under the first? I'm sorry? You know the five freedoms under the first? That's all I ever hear out of you frauditors is First Amendment this, First Amendment that. Uh, does it ever cross your mind that there are 26 other amendments within the Constitution, especially the Tenth Amendment that you frauditors tend to forget, and then there are those... Uh, blasted seven articles that set up the government that uh, Chile seems to forget about all the time. I mean, uh, but you just can't explain that to him. He's just too uh, thick-headed to figure that out. I mean, Mr. Constitutional Law Scholar. The five... 
So the five freedoms of the First Amendment? Yeah, the five freedoms. Freedom of press. Petition, right? There you go. There's religious freedom. There you go. Um, obviously freedom of speech. There you I go. Think. What's up, four maybe? I don't remember the fifth one. A symbol. Civil. Yeah, a symbol. Freedom of press, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of petition, and freedom to symbol. <laughs> Hey, Hello. Hey, Justin, were you born in 90 or 81? What did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. I'm just asking which year it was. I'd rather not get my information. Okay. Name and badge number? Name and badge number? You don't want to give your name and badge number? What's that? You don't want to give your name and badge number? Me, 921. Me, 921. Yeah. K9 unit. Yep. Right on. Right on. How's everything going with you guys? Going good? It's going good. Well right done. It's not too bad of a day, sir. All right. Hey, Dave. Hello, Mr. Chi. How are you today? Very good. Name and badge number? Good. My name is Officer Gemma. My badge number is 730. 730. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. So right now, um, you do have a warrant for your arrest. Really? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. You want me to take your phone so it doesn't fall? Uh, hold on. Hold on. There you go. Turn it off. You want me to stop recording? I have a warrant for my arrest. You do. Yeah, so we're going to detain you after right now, just until we can confirm it with dispatch, okay? Did you stop the recording for his request? No. I don't know either. All right, you guys. Do you want to stop it or do you want to stop it? I'll stop it. You do? Yeah. Okay, what's your choice? Oh, man. How stupid can you be? Are you that just bloody infatuated with... Uh, going out and watching cops that you probably didn't realize that you had a warrant out for your arrest? Couldn't you have checked in on this before you went out and uh, actually uh, did this? And that way you might have gotten it squared away before you were taken in. Oh, gee, I wonder what the uh, warrant was for. I mean, with a fraud editor, it could be anything at this point. <laughs> With the amount of fraud or arrests, yeah, just about anything. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.